What's going on, everybody? The Red Beard Boss, aka me, is uh, full on buying in, and by that I mean I already bought everything for Necromunda. <clears throat> if you're a fan of my channel, I haven't talked about Necromunda much, but I do love Necromunda. It's uh, one of my favorite environments or worlds, I guess, atmospheres of a game. I like the skirmish. I used to love the Redemptionists back when I was younger. And uh, the Kill Team and Rogue Trader and all of that that's been coming out just made me re-spark, like, big time into uh, Necromunda. So before we get into that, uh, I am selling some really nicely painted uh, Kill Team... Necromunda, Rogue Trader, even 40k, it's 15 bases. Uh, I'm selling those on eBay, I'll put the link below. And if one of my subscribers buys them, message me on eBay, and then when I pack them to ship them, I'll give you some free stuff. Like uh, I'll put in some extra models or bits or something. I don't know what exactly I'll be putting in there, but it's going to be another way I'm going to reward uh, my subscribers. So if you purchase those bases, uh, there'll be a link below. Uh, let me know on eBay. Message me on eBay. That way um, I'll know to put extra stuff in there because I don't have any reason to give away extra stuff to just random people on eBay. So here we go. Goliath Gang. I haven't had a chance to read through this yet. I haven't had a chance to... Not that I haven't had a chance. I've been doing other things. Uh, I haven't read through it yet, but I am pumped... And I got some big ideas. I'm going to be running a narrative campaign. I'm going to try and get everybody involved. This is going to be with the mindset that if you want to win games of Necromunda, this is probably not for you. If you want to embrace the wackiness and craziness of gang warfare, a.k.a. Judge Dredd, a.k.a. I don't know if it'd be a.k.a., but... In the same vein as like Escape from LA, Escape from New York, Robocop, all these different cool like dystopian apocalypse future type movies. Uh, my narrative campaign is going to be for you. I have no way of doing battle reports, but I'll probably update you on it. But I'm going to give you some things here. Uh, number one, we will be playing Necromunda in the tunnels, in the cities, and in the desert. Uh, I also have a lot more of these bases I'm working on, so there will be more. So if these sell, uh, just so you know, I'll have more up to be listed. So if you're watching this video a week or two later, just check the link. There might be more. But what I wanted to show you was I made a Goliath truck. Now this is a beast. <laughs> so here's a Goliath. He doesn't have a base on him right now, but so there you go. You can see I made a Goliath truck. It's got spikes. It's got a war platform. It's got a barrel in the back. Basically, I took a rhino, turned it upside down, and just went crazy, right? Put all kinds of bits. Hopefully, you can see that. There's like chaos shields, um, pieces of like flamethrowers from the eye guard uh, I use like a my exacto knife to do battle damage and I think these wheels are from an orc buggy but so I made an orc truck because in my campaign there's going to be road war battles I'm going to be using the speed freaks rules so when that box set comes out I will be buying the rules off somebody or if somebody wants to donate the rules and they just want the orc models I would love those rules uh, I don't know what they are, but that's going to be how we're going to manage the gang warfare on the cars. So hopefully it's fun and people can make their car however they want and we'll have a good time. I'm going to have one scenario I really want to do is either randomly or each gang puts up a fighter and they have a Romanesque gladiator arena fight, one-on-one, -on -one, fight to the death sort of thing, or at least fight to an injury. Uh, winner gets some sort of super bonus so all the players in the narrative campaign will like nominate a fighter and they will go duke it out with the other gangs for honor and a reward uh, last man standing sort of thing 
Uh, I want to do multiplayer games with like lost tech or rare tech. So say um, all the gangs get wind of like a shuriken catapult in the hive. So everybody's going to take a couple guys. It's going to be a big multiplayer game. Whoever comes out with the loot crate type thing is going to get equip one of their guys with a shuriken catapult, an Eldar weapon. And then that would be uh, once they failed an ammo check, um, maybe roll a dice, or just once they fail an ammo check, uh, the gun is no longer useful. because Maybe they can sell it because it still be kind of useful from valuable for money but since they can't make the Eldar ammunition to shoot it again you know it would have lost its ability to be used another one is a scion or a salt marine type situation or an orc storm boy uh, basically uh, jump packs in the hive that everybody's gonna fight over um, something along the lines of if you are equipped with it or if you get it, you have to use it on a model, and he has to deep strike in, so you're going to have the city. This guy's going to come flying in, and if you're not familiar, Necromunda still uses the scatter die. So he will scatter. Uh, there'll be a risk-type situation where he just whiffs and splats on the ground or hurts himself, and then maybe somebody else can pick up his jetpack or his jump pack. So... Lots of fun, fun stuff, you know, I'm talking gas clouds, possible, I'm going to end up with 40 Goliaths and I think 20 to 30 Diggas from Gorka Morka, which will be my Goliath Juves, so I think I'll have like 70 guys. Um, this might just become like an army in 40k after the fact, but, uh, so we might run a scenario, because I'm going to be running a narrative campaign, I might have to somewhat be like Game Master. Which I don't know if, let me know if anybody's ever done that, ran, say, Necromunda, but as more of a game master. But the, uh, you know, we might do a scenario where they all attack, like, the Goliath house, right? The Goliath stronghold. All of them versus, like, 70 kind of mindless Goliath defending sort of thing. Maybe that could be, like, the end of the campaign or something. I don't know. Uh, short, the short of it, I guess, is... I'm using the term narrative to hopefully wean out anybody who thinks this is competitive min-maxing their gang with the best weapons and ammunition for the best price, whatever is efficient, blah, 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 most skills, or whatever skills are most important, blah, 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 we'll probably do random skills. This is for people who want a hobby, who want a model, who want to really embrace, like, a fun campaign. And this is inspired because we've been playing Savage Worlds six gun which is a weird west game and i've been running that for a couple friends and we've been having a lot of fun uh, i haven't ran a role-playing game in like 20 years or something so it's been fun to do that and it's interesting because you forget like games are fun too like you don't forget but you know what i mean like everybody at the table is having a good time and they're still rolling dice and stuff and there's still emotions you know but I don't know. It just has like a different vibe. And I'm trying to try and create that in my Necromunda campaign. So hopefully when Larry and Sarah play against each other, even though they don't know each other, they know in the spirit of what I'm trying to do, it's going to be a great time. There might be acid rain. There might be mustard gas. The floor might be acid. There might be roaming alligators. I don't know, right? Pure fun. I'm going fun, 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 fun. And, uh... I guess when I am done with my 40 Goliaths, they, uh, um, you know, maybe they could become like 40 Chaos Cultists or something. Unfortunately, they're on 32 mil, so I don't know what I'll use them as. Most people I play with wouldn't care that my Cultists run 32 mil, because I never stretch my coherency out two inches, so the bigger base wouldn't necessarily make a big difference. But that's about it. Um, one of the reasons I'm trying to sell these wonderful, wonderful bases, not one of the reasons, but selling them, uh, if I sell them, I'm going to use the money to just pick up one of those Goliath weapon upgrade sprues uh, from Forge World. So I think that'll be cool to kind of use my, at least give the feeling that I'm using my hobby or my talent or whatever 
and it's like you know I painted these and that earned me you know some weapons for my other Goliath models so quick recap I'm playing Goliath I got a truck if you want to buy some cool bases it's a pack of it's gonna be 15 fully painted kind of industrial there's blood splatter oil splatter there's rust there's patina there's uh, scrapes and scratches um, and that's just the first set I got like three more sprues to do so hopefully you enjoy this video hopefully if you I want to know everything you know about Necromunda down below especially if you've been playing the new Necromunda because I am really really excited and uh, you know I'm can you know it's possible that the Grobe Trader stuff might get moved over in a white dwarf or something to be used in Necromunda as well so in a sense it's kind of like a new thing is being released for it at least the models are cool for conversions so talk to you soon